you want to change something, you have to create something. You ain't going to change nothing by doing nothing every single day watching YouTube videos. Look, anybody that has an idea, they have a problem that they want to solve, they're passionate about it. Yo, this is the next wave is to start a company. All right, guys, it is um, Monday. It's around 7.55 in the morning here in Cartagena. And um, man, things, just, I was, just got back yesterday. So everything is all over the place. I still haven't even checked that other office to see what that looks like. Um, man, just getting back acclimated is, man, it's a, it's a process. It's a process. Uh, having to, you know, get my stuff, all, all my stuff together upstairs. Um, as far as clothes, man, like, so it's gonna be probably like a few days before I stop living out of my suitcase. Um, man, yesterday when I came, bro, I, I left out so fast that I left my power cord to the computer I work on every single day. So I don't have a power cord for my main computer. Luckily, I'm gonna work on this MacBook right here uh, in order to do the things I need to do. Uh, meetings, if I'm taking any meetings, uh, editing, research, writing. Uh, I write every single day. Um, figuring out like what's going to be my strategy, what's going to be my plans as far as um, continuing my daily videos. I watched the, the, the Copa America finals down the street at the uh, La Tienda, which is a store. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the total bien bro total bien total bien zero zero uh, great experience i really wish they won man this whole everywhere you went everybody was tuned into the game like it was you know what it's like to me it was sort of like a super bowl but more intense than a super bowl um so yeah, that was a great experience. I really wish they would have won. Man, I would have had a, I would have had a different experience if they would have won. I'm gonna get to the board. Um, today, I'm also gonna do a live today too. I'm gonna do my first live today about being back in Colombia. I'm gonna write down some notes about it. You know the things I want to talk about, and just do a long form um, live about that. I'm headed to the uh, Bahia. I just let my phone charge. I got, I have so many things that um, I feel that can be of value to people right now. Like, seriously, I want to take, make videos about, break it down and give away to people so they can use these same skills. Um, and use these same tactics because man the world like I'm I really look I'm looking at the world in a, a different light and I have always looked at the world in a different light but man you can do whatever you want in this world you might you know you're gonna need some support of course but you can shape to do whatever you want in this world you can shape however you want your life to look like. It's gonna take time, you know, for that to happen. But if you dial in on that, 
and you have a clear path of where you want to go and you know what you you know exactly what you want you can really shape your life um it, it starts with you know it starts with the story though for sure it starts with the story for sure so hey hey how, how you doing uncle hey how are you i'm well man i'm well um, yeah, I just got I just got your email. Like before, I did all of the I did all of the finances. I did everything front to back, right? I paid people. Mm -hmm. I paid people. I was in charge of the vision. I was in, you know I was in charge of every single thing front to back. Like I'm a, at the end of the day, this is my vision. I'm a creative, and mm -hmm. as far as the finances, like I can't have that in my head at all when I'm trying to build something. So. Make, make take even take me off of the email chain and that is a separate conversation between you and i think on it i think on the invoices may, maybe give a grace period or something like that maybe like like uh, I've, been, I've been two three days this week okay yeah. may, may, maybe get may, maybe give a week grace period or whatever so i have from now onwards i'll give you like one week grace period okay uh, waiting for that and we'll, you can just send me the full contract uh, with the with your signature. Oh, you know what? I think okay. I, I think I can sign it through. Uh, I can sign it through PDF filler. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll sign. Yeah, I'll sign it through PDF filler and send it back today. Sometime. Yeah. Sure. No, okay. Please. Okay. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs>
start a company because it didn't take that much i couldn't i didn't have to have everything that i had in order to go and try to get into these accelerators and i really believe if i didn't have the things on my record and and um the situation where i was ran through the news and things like that in 2015 i don't and you can google my name if i didn't have that i personally believe that I would have definitely got into one of those accelerators and that would have been with not a, a lot of revenue a wireframe an idea and a clear vision on solving a problem but the thing is yo nobody would help me to do this no other founders would give me information to try to start a company like it's crazy like this like how secret they are like when you like yo what are you doing every single day you know nobody's showing that you know um so many things that i learned but i had to learn on my own and i'm looking at them like look anybody that has an idea they have a problem that they want to solve they're passionate about it yo this is the next wave is to start a company like it's so many people start a company, but i don't see like young black guys in abundance starting companies it is young black guys that starting companies but it's not in abundance even guys with experience like man like if i like i just go back to my dad being a plumber like it would be super super dope to start a, a platform for plumbers you know solving some type of problem and I, th I think that's viable. I think that's something that, you know, look. If you want to change some shit, man, you got to create some shit. Let's just put it that way. You know, that's just clear. You want to change something, you have to create something. You ain't going to change nothing by doing nothing every single day, watching YouTube videos and all that shit. You ain't going to change nothing, man. And the access is out, is out here because, like, these programs that I'm that I went for, they were geared towards founders of color. So, man, I think it's something that that people should be really, really looking into. And I'm going to make a framework for that process. Um, I don't know what it's going to be called. Maybe like get 120k for your ideas. Um, I'm not sure. There's all of these things like that, like that I'm doing, like, man, like, bro, I'm not special. Um, anybody can really do this stuff, right? Man, as I was watching the Copa Cup uh, yesterday, man, like, I thought it was like, super super cool to see to see them play um and it's even better to have a sports technology company that i'm building to tell the stories of these athletes around the world and actually have them get support right because man like uh I'm looking at all of these players and I'm just thinking like, yo, what if you can go into their dreamers vault and watch their story from when they started playing all the way to now when they had the Copa Cup or whatever and they're telling their story and you could have supported them all the way up into that point. Because you see these players and you don't know any of these players. Same thing in basketball. Like I see NBA players. I'm like, yo, who is these guys? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Besides like the superstars, right? You know, but all the other guys is kind of like, man, who are you? And that's what my platform is going to be. Like, it's going to be for the next generation of athletes. It's going to be for the athletes that are in fifth and sixth grade. And you're going to be able to watch their journey all the way until they become professional and be the next athletes that everybody's going to be talking about. That's what all dreams is going to be. And you'll be able to support those players and watch that journey all the way through for five bucks or whatever, you know? So that's going to be cool. And the athletes get support for their dream, for their training and things like that. So... 
man, that's gonna be super, super cool. But I was just thinking that like, man, like this platform is gonna change the freaking world dedicated for athletes. Like it's gonna change the world, man. So I just wanted to say that. Good, how are you? Michael. Hassan? Nice to meet you, buddy. Where you from? America. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What part? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, okay. Charleston. Charleston, okay, nice. Yeah, right. beautiful Charleston. Love Charleston. Yeah, great place. Yeah, yeah born and raised. Came here after all the damn COVID. Uh, state. Yeah, no work, so yeah. retired and right of COVID, so I'm here. How you like it? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, how old are you? I'm 44, man. 44, okay. Yeah. I had a couple of friends here I visited before, okay. but then I just came because of um, COVID. And I was tired. I had a couple of stores, a couple of boys. Okay. So I said, you know, I'm nice to door. And I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand my, I, my country anymore. What? And I'd ask, where are you from? Okay. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Oh, then you know, I can't stand my country anymore. I hate to say that, but of course I love my country. Yeah, for sure. Whenever I say that, I always like my country will take you home. We all do. I was never charged. Yeah, no, we, we, we all do, but, but I'm disgusted with the covenant. I'm disgusted with the current situation. Three, four years. Yeah. Most of the time. Anybody that I sit? Yes. You have a conscience. Morality. Anybody that has sit? Yes. Yeah. 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 How the hell is Buffalo from Gartahena? Now that's a change.